All right, happy Friday, December the 8th, 2 Corinthians 10, 3 and 4. For although we live in the flesh, we do not wage war according to the flesh, since the weapons of our warfare are not of the flesh, but are powerful through God for the demolition of strongholds. So, demolition of strongholds. What are these strongholds? You see, in Paul's argument in, in Corinthians uh the strongholds are these opposition to the gospel, opposition to the good news, opposition to the message of God's love and the sacrifice that's been given in Christ. See, there are those in Corinth who are opposed to Paul. And so he talks about that our, our spiritual warfare are weapons against the opposition. And Paul plans to refute those who oppose him. See, Paul has shared with the Corinthians a way to follow Jesus. He's shared with them the way to follow Jesus. See, today, what are the strongholds we face? What are, what's the opposition to our testimony in Christ? What's the opposition to us sharing Christ? You see, when the world and its philosophies crowd our understanding, when, when the things being said around us in the world uh, oppose our walk with Jesus, Paul encourages us to get back to basics, the weapons of our warfare. See, Ephesians 6, that Paul also writes, talks about uh, our armor, our, our, our spiritual armor, uh, uh, those things that God has provided for our defense and the, the singular offensive weapon being the sort of truth, uh, the Word of God. You see, see, our greatest challenge is to know there is a war and to engage in it. It's easy to consider the unseen as non-existent. 2 Corinthians 10, 3 and 4 says, For although we live in the flesh, we do not wage war according to the flesh, since the weapons of our warfare are not of the flesh, but are powerful through God for the demolition of strongholds. Yes, there's a struggle, but don't give up. Press on. Continue in the disciplines of our faith. Run the race so as to finish. That's what we just talked about this morning in worship. Have a blessed day. We'll see you next week.